Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. We are going to talk about silver, both coin news, some interesting coin news, and the investment in actual silver, physical silver. I love silver. I think silver is poised to do much better in price in the future when none of us know, but it is my favorite investment. Why? One, because it's God's money. Two, it's in the Constitution. And three, it's because it's something real and tangible. And during times of difficulties, when the economy starts to tank and money expands, money supply expands, silver tends to do some interesting things. However, it is still yet to surpass its all-time high of around 49 to $48. You know, it's done that twice. And honestly, I personally do believe that the third time is the charm. Let me know down below if you agree with that. And let's dive into some stories that are very interesting, in my opinion. Now, Right here, it's story out of Yahoo Finance. Out of Bloomberg, silver surges to the highest since 2012 as precious metals rally. And you can see right here that we haven't seen this price since 2012. And right before 2012 was when we were coming off of the highs of, I want to say it was $49 and change. And those were some pretty exciting times. Now, it looks to me in this chart that we are just poised for a spring, a breakout. But again, these things take a lot of time. I want to stress that. It says here, silver hit its highest level since 2012, while gold reached a new record as ex um, expectations for additional Federal Reserve interest rate cuts boosted precious metals. Now, I want to remind you, gold has, is in its heyday. It's having its day right now. It's in the spotlight because gold traders are betting that the Fed they already were right of lowered rates, but also that monetary stimulus is coming, the expansion of the money supply. And with that, gold does very well. And to see gold at this price of 2600 and change now, prior to a, a real significant downturn in economy, is pretty impressive compared to what it was doing back in 2007. It says, while the white metal climbed as much as 2.8% to 32.71 an ounce on Thursday, extending this year's gain to 37%. Think about this. Since January, we have seen a price gain of 37%. That is impressive. Its advance uh, came during a broad rally for precious metals, with gold hitting another all-time high. Silver is one of the best performing major commodities as the Fed's pivot towards easier monetary policy last week and the prospect of future rate cuts benefit the non-yielding metals. Gains have been supported by the possibility of increased industri industrial use and China moves to boost its economy while flows into the silver-backed exchange-traded funds have shown signs of picking up. Look, the truth is I invest in silver because I personally believe there's not a lot of it to go around. I believe that it has been suppressed for decades and decades. Um, as a matter of fact, it's really interesting to watch the correlation of when Kennedy was assassinated to the first thing they really did was repeal the silver... Um, the silver dollar, the actual uh, note, right? And it's really interesting throughout hi modern history, the battle between silver and the monetary system. Now, we're going to dive into another story about Trump and Trump minting a coin, a silver coin, and how much he's selling it for. Now, I personally believe if you are, if you don't hold it, you don't own it, um, whether that be physically in your home, I don't do that. I have it vaulted. <laughs> something that you purchase that you know what you own rather than a paper with the stock market, which there's nothing there. It's all vaporware is the way to go. Okay. If you want, I'll put a link down to a company that I trust that I've used to purchase silver, physical silver, where they deliver it to your house or they can deliver it to a vault. Um, I'll put that link down below. But the most important thing is that you buy the cheapest stuff. Now, this story out of the economic time, Trump coins are being sold by the ex-president for a $100 made but, uh, out of silver. But they're made out of to $30 of silver in them. And these are things I want to hear. I have flexible silver coins as well. It's put out by a handful Right. I have flexibles. I understand the good times. I also know flexibles are when they bad times. Right? In new sellers, the price is going to collapse. Okay. So this is something I would say, you want to, you had the money, you want to spend a hundred bucks to buy a Trump coin? Hey, cool. There's nothing wrong with that, right? So it says here, Donald Trump sells, oh, look at this. Now let's wait. Everything's been unresponsive today. Donald Trump sells $100 coins, but the silver is only worth $30. The former president revealed on Saturday 
Donald Trump points featuring his likeness to supporters for $100 each. The announcement comes after Trump. Uh, sneakers and God bless the USA Bible went on sale earlier this year. This, to be honest with you, blows my mind. This would, is not something I would personally be doing if I was my president. All right. It says Trump coins are created by him and minted right here in the United States, as stated by Trump in a post on Truth Social. The beautiful limited edition coin commemorates their movement, our fight for prosperity, and putting America first. Trump space is on the front of the coin. I'm going to be straightforward with you. I will never be buying one of these. I did buy some uh, collectible uh, bars, uh, assassination, uh, but I only paid for more. But I thought saw those. I thought those were pretty cool. And I was up there color images on those but that's as crazy as i get all right and uh again i want to stress that if you're going to buy physical silver coins you want to buy the cheaps possible uh, a lot of people love um numismatics I, those are collectible silver coins are i like bullion um i do like you know maples and and uh national coins if i can get them for a really low price okay so i'm always shopping for the lowest price all right because think about it when you want to sell you're limited by how much you paid for it. Okay, check this out. Out of FX Empire, silver poise for strong growth as bullish patterns emerge. It says silver demand is increasing due to its growing use in renewable energy, electronics, and electric vehicles. The truth is there is no other metal on earth that have more patents tied to it than silver, okay? So when I'm thinking that there's no not enough silver to go around, it's because not only is it used in everyday uses like water filters, your cell phone, anything electronic has silver in it, right? But every day they're coming up with newer technologies, solar panels, and all these things that that need more and more physical silver. So I don't see that with any other metal on earth. It says the lowest, lower interest rate environment and weaker US dollars supports the silver prices. And it says it's silver is forming a bullish price pattern and looking for a strong surge higher. And it talks about it in this article. And I'm going to throw these three articles in the story, in the video down below, if you want to go check it out. And also I want to remind you, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, please check it out. And the reason why is because so many people are being unsubscribed, not able to get the notifications and things like that to the videos. This will send you a once a day email with a synopsis of all the videos I've put out and other things that I cannot share here. So if you want to check it out, it's free to sign up for that. Now, this is what I want to show you. The global renewable energy uh, market is experiencing significant growth as shown in this chart below. In 2023, the market was valued at approximately um, uh, $1.14 uh, trillion and is expected to expand to $5.62 trillion by 2023 with a compound annual growth rate of 17.3%. This rapid expansion of renewable energy is expected to further drive the demand for silver, especially in industries such as solar energy and electronics. And you could see this chart shows you how much industry insiders are looking at the silver market and how much it is expected to expand to 2020, 2033. So personally, I invest in silver. I like uh, the silver trade because I believe that it goes completely against our modern day financial system with the Federal Reserve fiat currency. No, I do not think that we're going to be trading silver someday. And I would be honest with you, I do not think that we're going to have a silver backed currency. That's going to piss a lot of people off, but I would rather plan for the more... Um, I want to plan realistically, right? There are a lot of people out there buying silver because they believe in sort of these fairy tales that we're going back to this gold and silver system. It's very rare. When, when the money changers have control and their hands over the throat of the American people or, or society, period, with control of fiat currency, it's very hard for them to go back because then they lose control. They lose the printing power. Um, but I do see, just like rhodium, silver in the future going up. None of this is financial advice because of its industrial applications and the fact that companies at a certain point, they don't care if silver is $30 an ounce or $300 an ounce because they're not going to stop building these. And the amount, even at $300 an ounce, would only increase this a, a nominal amount because the amount of silver it takes and the amount of silver it needs to create this, okay? So that's why I think that I, that's why I'm investing in it. I hope you got something out of this. Thank you to everybody that keeps hitting that resubscribe button because they're being unsubscribed. And thank you for signing up for the newsletter. I hope you have a great day. And the Economic Ninja is out.